Hi, I'm Don Sheen with Caddyshack Golf and Teaching Center. Several times, many times I've been told, Don, I just can't make a full swing like you young flat bellies. First of all, I'm not a flat belly anymore. However, it's a simple move to make a full swing, okay? And it's also a simple move to get the club in a good position at the top. And that move is a hammering motion. This is how we bring the golf club to the top. Two components are happening. I'm going to turn to the side this way. You'll see my right elbow folding and my hands cocking. You're going to see two 90 degree angles here or close to it. So that's how we bring the club to the top in this hammering motion this way. So if I just position my hands off my right shoulder and bring it up in a hammering motion, everybody could do this motion. The club's in a full position. The only other motion we make in the backswing is a rotation of the body. And not only do I have a full swing, but I have the club in the correct position at the top. So the backswing's two moves. It's this move and it's this move. Now, they come together and that's why you see everything looks in unison. But once again, it's this move. So for those that have trouble making a full swing, practice this hammer in motion. Just take a club, like you're gonna tap down a nail, a sludge hammer. You're gonna just fold it up to that position. So I'm gonna to turn to the golf ball here and I'm gonna turn my body to hip high. Now that right arm, my arms really didn't do anything in the takeaway. That right arm is in a perfect position to hammer it up. Now I've got a quirky little drill you could do to lengthen your swing, okay? You're gonna turn, Fold it up, tap your shoulder, return, and tap this shoulder. The only way you can tap this shoulder is to make that hammering motion. Now, we're not going to play golf that way, but we're going to make practice swings. We're going to turn, fold, tap the shoulder. And once again, the turn, starting the backswing, gets that right arm in a good position to fold in the hammering motion. So here we go. If we can make a bigger circle and a bigger swing, Centrifugal force, bigger circle, faster the end of the circle is going to travel, you're going to hit it farther. More important, if you fold it up in this hammer in position, you're going to get the club in a great position to hit solid shots more often. So we're going to get at our target, turn and fold it up in the hammer in position, and make our golf swing. Think of the golf club more like a hammer, okay? In terms of, we're going to rotate fold it up like we're hammering, and you'll get that full swing, you'll get that club in the right position, and you'll play better golf.